What's up guys, it's Joseph here. Today in this video, we're gonna be going over specifically how to customize apps on your iPhone. Whether you wanna customize the actual app name or perhaps the icon of the app itself, it's a fairly simple and step-by-step -step process I'm gonna be sharing with you today. But before we get into that, if you find value in this video, please smash the like button down below as it really helps out the YouTube algorithm for this video. And also consider subscribing to this channel as well for future tips, tricks, and tactics on tech and social media. That being said, without further ado, let's just jump right in. So in order to customize apps, there is a prerequisite app that you're gonna need as well, and that app is called Shortcuts. And you can find it in the App Store. It's free by download. I'm gonna open that up right here on my screen. And the only option available is the option we're gonna click on, Create a Shortcut. So it's gonna prompt this, this pop-up window, and we're gonna search here in the search bar, Content Types, and you can see Apps. It's basically the colored square. We're gonna click on that, and we're gonna click on open app again. It's gonna prompt us to choose. We're gonna click choose. And for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and use Instagram. So I'm gonna click on Instagram. I'm gonna click done. And it's basically gonna create that shortcut. Now I'm gonna click on that again. So if we click on this shortcut, you'll notice that it's gonna take us directly to Instagram. But what we actually wanna do is we wanna create a separate app on our home screen that will take us to that shortcut page, which will then take us directly to Instagram. So what you can't do is create an entirely new app on the home screen that's gonna take you directly through Instagram. It has to go through the shortcuts app. That's just this method and that's how most people do it as well. So we're gonna further customize this. We're gonna go onto here and we're gonna click on the settings, which is basically the on and off switches on the upper right hand corner. We're gonna click that and this is gonna give us the title. So I'm just gonna title this. This is the title of the shortcut. Now, once you're done, we're gonna create the icon for the home screen. So you're gonna click on icon right here. This should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna click on home screen. You can also choose by color as well, create your own custom app, or you can go to Glyph and go ahead and just select an icon there. We're gonna go to home screen. So if you notice here, it's given us two different options. Number one, we can take a photo, such as a photo of yourself, and you can use that as the Instagram icon on your home screen. I certainly know people who have done that with all of their apps. Or number two, you can actually select a photo such as one that you've downloaded from Safari. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find an aesthetic icon for Instagram. Now we're gonna go into Safari. Now there's a couple of things that you can go ahead and search in order to come up with a different design for the app icon. You can search Instagram soft icon. You can search Instagram icon variation, Instagram icon aesthetic. You can try different variations. Instagram icon variation is another one. In fact, let's go ahead and search Instagram icon custom. It's probably gonna come up with a bunch of different ones. We're gonna click on images. And you can see here all these different designs that people have designed previously for the app. So I'm just gonna pick one that stands out to me. I'm looking for one with a lot of color that can really differentiate the current app. I'm gonna to go to that red one that I saw. There it is right there. So what I'm gonna do is you can screenshot this or you can simply just hold and click save image. And we'll go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna go back on to shortcuts. We're gonna to go to select photo. We're gonna find that photo in our camera roll and you can go ahead and customize it here how you want it. I like the way that looks. Make sure it's centered. Click choose, and there you go, you've got the app. So you can click done. Now to actually add it to your home screen, you're gonna scroll down and click add to home screen, and it's gonna take you to a, uh, an actual page in Safari that has been kind of already pre-established and linked, and what you're gonna do is just follow the instructions. So what you're gonna do first of all is you're gonna hit this button on the bottom of the home screen, you're gonna find where it says add to home screen right here. You're gonna click that. And then you're gonna title it how you want it to be titled. So I'm gonna title it um, Instagram. Let's just title Instagram demo so that we can differentiate it, okay? Once that's done, you can see that it's actually appeared right here on our home screen. So you can go ahead and take this. You can move it here. You can create your own collection of apps. And what you're gonna notice is when you click on it, it's gonna take you to the shortcuts page and it's gonna take you directly to Instagram. So it kind of already does that for you. The reason why it's doing that particularly is because that's the only shortcut we have set up. If we had created other shortcuts for multiple apps, it would take us to that home shortcuts page and then from there directly to the actual app that we had selected the destination for. It's really just an easy way to customize any app on your phone. If you wanna make that TikTok app look like a, an English dictionary, you can do that. 
or if you wanna make that iPhotos app look like a cheese pizza, that's an option as well. I'm just gonna say this quick tip, do not delete any of, don't delete the original app on your iPhone. So for instance, since we're creating a new version of Instagram, you do not wanna delete the Instagram app because that is the final destination that this app just kinda creates a different pathway to. So if you don't like the inconvenience of having two, simply create a collection of apps and just put all the real apps into that collection, into that folder, and then you can have everything else on your home screen just be the new variations of the apps that you've created. So the takeaway is don't delete the original app because that's the end destination that it's going to use through the shortcuts. Well, that about concludes this tutorial. Of course, it goes without saying, if this video was valuable to you and you learned something from it, smash that like button down below and comment down below how you are choosing to customize your apps. I wanna know all the wacky ways that are possible and I would love to know and reply to your comments as well. Speaking of comments, our comment of the week is from Claire. Claire, I appreciate the support. Thank you for your kind words. To all you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll talk next time. Take care.